right, folks. So one of the things I'm noticing in the survival prepper, or whatever the hell you want to call it, community is a lack of definition of goal as it relates to a bug out bag or a get home bag or a I'm never coming home bag. So a lot of these things, a lot of options that belong in a different bag are bleeding over into the bug out bag. So let's define what a bug out bag is. Bug out bag is I need to grab a bag, get out of my house, dwelling or apartment, whatever, and I need to move to a different secured location that was pre-planned ahead of time. So I'm going to my cash space, or I'm going to a backup survival area, or I'm going to another piece of property that I own or my family owns, or I'm just running home to mama. The bag should sustain you for that trip. Now, a lot of people that I'm seeing posting bug out bags and stuff like that, or descriptors of bug out bags, are mistaking a bug out bag for a bag that keeps them combat effective for a longer duration than a trip. A bug out bag should sustain you for about 72 hours, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, depending on your fitness level, the distance you're traveling, or the event that you're bugging out from. So the gear that's in that bag should be based on increasing your survivability from a point A to point B trip whether it's on foot, bicycle, skateboard, like Egyptian, like prestige litter, whatever. Your bag shouldn't necessarily be overburdened by useless shit or things that are not going to be needed during that same trip. What I mean. So my bug out bag is camp gear, food, water, the ability to gather water or food, and enhance my security and temperature over a short period of time. Now, I generally plan the tr when I'm on the road like I am today, I generally plan, worst case scenario, I have to walk from where I am to where I want to be, which is home. So everything inside of my bag that I have with me is going to sustain me if I'm on foot from here to there. What I am not looking to do is get in a drawn out gun battle between here and there. So what I'm not gonna put in there is 18 magazines. What I'm not gonna put in there is sustainment gear for a weapon platform I'm not gonna lug the entire way. When I'm traveling with myself or I'm tra traveling with my wife or a business partner, I'm planning on moving me plus one to location B. What I am not doing is getting ready for a running gun battle, street to street, house to house, block to block, clearing buildings, locating high value targets, or getting into a drawn out gun battle where I need a combat loadout of a specific amount of magazines, sustainment gear for a weapon system, and food, water, shelter, two pair uniform pants, two pair uniform top, gloves, winter gloves, liner, pants, socks, poly pro bottom one, poly pro bottom two, you know, I'm not carrying all that shit. I'm not running, I'm not, my bug out bag is not a long range recon patrol Alice pack large. It's a small pack to get me from point A to point B. Now, the differences between a bug out bag and a battle bag are explained. Those include more of the other type items, more magazines. Like when I'm traveling, I'm usually carrying enough magazines for a handgun to, to defend myself through the trip. Again, when I'm traveling, I'm not trying to get into that, that you know, hardcore stop the world kind of fight. I'm by myself, maybe a plus one or a plus two, and I'm not going to be able to outrun, you know, 10 to 15 vigilantes in a combat role. Uh, if I see trouble, I'm going to do everything I can to circumvent it. Whether that involves circumnavigating through an alleyway or a building or, you know, up some stairs, down some stairs, 
maybe, you know, whatever I got to do to juke, dive, and jo- du- blah, 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 juke, dive, and dodge to get out of the way. Again, don't confuse your bug out bag for a battle bag. There's a big difference. Your bug out bag might attach to your I'm never coming home bag, but it shouldn't necessarily be the bag you grab when you're just going to a secondary location like your secondary cash location or if, like I said earlier, you are just running home to mama. Um, I'm out with a bunch of shooters right now. I'm going to go grab some dinner, but I wanted to at least do this video so that you guys, because a lot of you are asking me, well, well, how come your bag doesn't have this or how come your bag doesn't have that? There are specific bags for specific reasons. Don't try and put all your, don't try and build a do-all bag, you know, with plate carrier and body armor and AR-500 plates and, and like 87 magazines, 6,000 rounds magazines and bullets and, and, and 18 liters of water and, and four pairs of pans and, and like, don't be that guy. Just figure out what you need figure out what the plausible attack situation may be that you're trying to avoid. If you're building to confront with something, well, that's a different bag. That's a different set of skills. That's a different set of goals. When you're planning your bag, plan the goal for the role it's trying to fill for you. Going to eat, really fucking hungry. It's been a hell of a day on the range, and uh, I need to put some food in my gas tank. So deuces. I will talk to you guys later.